Hey friends, for today's quick sketch, we are going to be painting daffodils. We're working our way through the birth flowers. So we are on March, which is daffodil. So I have my image of daffodils here. I have my little square of mixed media thick paper and I have some colors out on my palette. I have white, cadmium yellow medium, quinacridone red, phthalo green, ultramarine blue, and magenta. And um, I'm painting with a round synthetic brush. It is size eight. So we are going to see how far we can get in 10 minutes. So are you ready? <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay. So I'm gonna start with just the general shape of one daffodil that I think will be my center star character. I'm gonna make a little bit more orangey of a yellow by adding in a bit of the red. Whoop, too much. There we go, just slightly more orangey. Add a bit of water to it. Make it a bit more flowy. Paper. Paper tends to suck up the paint more than when I'm painting on canvas. And so the paint, I find I need to make the paint a little bit more, a little bit more flowy. Okay, so I'm just gonna start by putting in the petals. I'm just gonna work my way around. So we've got those top two I'm painting and then there's two across from each other on the sides. They're kind of pointing out. And one here. Oh, okay. I think I made that one a little too big, but it's okay. And then we've got one here and here. So I um, am not worrying too much if they're a bit wonky because this is just a quick sketch. <laughs> I'm not even aiming for anything like perfection at this moment. Um, all right, so we've got these. Now I think let's put in the trumpet so we can just change this color with some more red. And this is kind of a creamy orange, so I'm gonna use some more white and kind of turn that really intense orange to something a bit more pastel. Ooh, I like that color. This quinacridone red is kind of a pinkish red. It makes pretty like peachy coral kind of colors, although that doesn't look quite dark enough here. Even, this, uh, even though this is a bit different than the picture, let's just use this because it's pretty. So the trumpet is kind of pointing off to the left there. So I'm going to sort of make it aiming in that direction. And it sort of has a shadowy bit. Maybe I'll use a bit of magenta for the shadowy bit on the inside there. For some little streaks for like a bit of a shadow crease going on. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Okay, now I want to do a lighter color on the petals. So I'll go back to yellow and white. I'm just gonna make a sort of pastel yellow, I think. See how this looks. And they just have creases coming down. No real regular pattern or anything. They're just sort of creased here and there. So I'll just kind of wrap them around the petals. And that's pretty. Now, I wanna do a bit of a shadow, I think. So I'm just gonna mix some of my light yellow into that orange there. I like that. It's more shadowy like in the picture down on this part, so I think I'll just emphasize that. There. Okay, now I'm gonna do, let's look at the time. Oh, we still have five and a half minutes, so we're only about halfway done. I'm gonna do the stamens by getting a little light yellow, just 
dotting it in the center there. And I feel like that's pretty good for the flower. That's a very simple version of a flower, but that's fine. Now we can put in some leaves and um, I'm not gonna do any more flowers. I'm just gonna do the one I've decided. So let me get some yellow and bring it over here. And we'll dot a bit of magenta into it to make it more of a brown green, which I enjoy more than a very bright intense And eh, let's see, they have, just their leaves are kind of vertical like the stems. So we can just play around with putting in some pretty leaves. We can even have some that come up a little higher. And this is now just about being decorative. I'm just sort of decorating the bottom of the paper here with some extra leaves that feel like they're going in fun directions. There, okay, so now I'm gonna get a bit of dark green and create, since we have some extra time, I'm just gonna create some depth on the leaves just by having a shadow color there. I think that's pretty nice. I think I'll make the stem a bit thicker. Well, we still have three minutes, so what should we do with our three minutes? I think I'm gonna get a, just a little bit creative. This is totally going off script from the photo, but I, I have fun putting pink onto almost anything, so I'm just gonna <laughs> be silly and put some fun little strokes of pink onto these petals because it sounds like a good idea to me. And if you can't be expressive in your paintings, that's too bad, so. <laughs> I like adding pops of fun color and just like in, in unexpected places. And so it's fun to just add something in there that's more of your art artistic interpretation rather than what's directly photo, photorealistic. I'll just do a couple little strokes of it in the leaves too for fun. There. All right, with two minutes to spare, I think I'm done. <laughs> so feel free to keep painting if you are not done yet, that is totally fine. Just work on getting quicker and making decisions faster and just going with the flow as much as you can and you will get quicker with each painting you create. Um, if you had fun with this quick sketch, then feel free to check out my other tutorials on my YouTube channel and also my new painting course. It's called Water Dance and focuses in on all of my favorite acrylic painting techniques to create layered, beautiful, vibrantly colored acrylic paintings. So check that out. I've linked it down in the description. All right. Thank you so much for painting with me. I hope you had fun and um, that these sketches are just a lighthearted way for you to be creative without um, having to make a super in-depth painting. Um, and I will see you again next time. Bye for now.